Over the past several years, there have been a growing number of hate-related incidents here in Montgomery County. Between 2018 and now, hate-related incidents have increased 70%. In January of 2023, the problem rose to such a level at, at the Montgomery County school system that the county created an anti-hate task force. Now, tensions created by the Israeli-Hamas conflict have ex exasperated the problem even more, as demonstrated by the controversy over the proposed screening on the campus of Montgomery College of a movie entitled The Occupation of the American Mind, which has been denounced as anti-Semitic. With us today is Delegate Ryan Spiegel to discuss the controversy over the film and also to give us an, a, a sense of how we can fight these hate-related crimes in general. Welcome, Ryan. Thank you so much for having me. So, Ryan, you know, the, the controversy this week and last week was over the screening of this film, which is blatantly anti-Semitic and offensive. It, there's a borderline, you know, question of between a freedom of expression and it's also an exposition of hate. So how do we address this? Well, look, uh, first of all, thank you for acknowledging that this film is blatantly anti-Semitic. Uh, it is sometimes advertised as a documentary, but it is not. Uh, it is a vile anti-Semitic film uh, that really uh, feeds off of age-old tropes, um, conspiracy theories about this um, small persecuted minority controlling the minds of the media and the public. Um, and it's really uh, despicable. So thank you for drawing attention to it. But to your question, I think, look, in, in a free society, the price we pay for having a First Amendment is that people are entitled to express their views, no matter how abhorrent they are. So we can't respond to hate speech by forcibly silencing it. We have to balance that response with the First Amendment and with the values of academic freedom. And I think that's why you hear uh, civil rights organizations often saying that the best response to hate speech is not to quash it, but to actively engage in proactive anti-hate speech. Well, you know, I, I think uh, it, we there's an effort, obviously, by the county with the creation of the anti-hate anti uh, work task force to address the issue in the um, school system and, and abroad. <laughs> but it seems to have had little effect because there's still a growing number. Not, and it's, it's not just anti-Semitism, it's, it's hate against its other religious uh, groups. I mean, there have been, there have been Baptist churches that have, have, have experienced graffiti attacks. There mm -hmm. have been, there have been uh, other uh, institutions. So I think, how do we get a more general effort to combat these incidents? Yeah. First, let, let me say, I think it's important to emphasize that this, this latest issue with this film was not a sanctioned event organized or blessed by the administration of Montgomery College. And I think President Williams and his team have issued some good, strong statements condemning it and condemning hate speech and anti-Semitic messaging in general. But let me, let me offer a few suggestions here. Um, we're obviously tackling a big issue and, you know, it's not something we can solve in the next three minutes, but uh, in addition to engaging in proactive anti-hate speech, which myself and many other elected officials and community leaders are doing, um, there's some other things we can do. We need more training and education so people understand what speech and what activity constitutes anti-Semitism or other hate. Um, unfortunately, defenders of hate speech are often trying to split hairs or muddy the waters or or use revisionist history. And that's why um, state officials and local officials have pushed for more education in our curricula, and that's both at the K through 12 level and at the higher ed level and in training our educators as well. I think we also need to make sure our government institutions are not either intentionally or unintentionally enabling or promoting hate speech, which is not the same thing as having to allow it in the public sphere. And finally, I think we need to continue building relationships and alliances across communities to grow our empathy and our understanding. We are an extremely diverse county. There are a lot of constituencies that know what it's like, unfortunately, to be victims of hate, whether it's the Black, Asian, Latino, immigrant, or LGBTQ communities and others. 
Um, and I think we should all be standing together against hate, including anti-Semitism, which is, of course, one of the oldest and most pervasive forms of hate. Well, I think it's that's a tremendous point. I, I really think that the faith-based communities need to rally around this issue and make it like the civil rights issue of the year, because this this is this is tearing our society apart when we permit these types of incidents and this type of expression to to continue to foster to fester, excuse me. And I appreciate your coming on today to address this in a force in a forceful and forthright manner. So thank you for being here today. Thank you so much for having me.